Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am here today with my show and tell video. I love these videos. If you have watched them before, I have explained that they're kind of like a what's in my PO box, except I've already opened the items and had time to read the cards, read the letters you guys send me as well, and to look at the things that you send me properly. And then I'm just going to show you in this show and tell, as well as other stuff, maybe something I picked up, kind of like haul, but more sort of in detail. So first up, some mail, some cards, and it wouldn't be a show and tell without a card from my Marianne. If you've watched other show and tells or just other what's in my PO boxes, my Marianne, Marianne, hi doll, up in Canada is one of my uber subbies and she is just so gorgeous and writes me cards to Mussy and I all the time. She said, sorry it's so late, but I had to come all the way from Canada. Love your Marianne. She sent me a Mother's Day card, so life is beautiful and it's because of you. Happy Mother's Day. And it's got this gorgeous, look at that, with all this embellishment. They're, they're actually real crystals. That's so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Marianne. I keep all her cards. I keep all of your cards and mail in a box. In saying that, the next thing I do want to show you is these guys. I do get asked to do, like, I guess a filming studio tour to show you guys most of you know what is in here anyway i did do like a display luxury case display tour in our other house uh but just the things that are on the walls so the things that i've hung are things that mean so much to me uh as well as just bags like so shopping bags and things like that from you can't see it, it's a bit higher or you can see mariah she's here some people ask me is that a is that a personalized autograph from mariah carey from her butterfly tour and i'm like duh hello do you know who i am jokes being a sassy cow don't get your knickers in a knot anyway so i frame i frame things is what I'm trying to say and there's a few different things up there and I'm just going to show you these ones because I finished these ones as well the other day these these are just like I wouldn't say cheapy frames these are from like a not a dollar store but like house and home store you know there's kind of like cheap cheapy bits and bob stores but they're still like $15 a frame and like $9.95 a frame so this one can we see is from one of my gorgeous followers and instagrammer Ru ruchi ruchi sorry ruchi um a touch of glam she sent me this is one of her insta pictures i showed in a show and tell and then that was the card that came with it this gorgeous like chanel inspired card with the pearls and everything so gorgeous so it's actually i framed that in there to remind me of her hi babe this is a Louis Vuitton tag, obviously, that you can see. I've wound up a ribbon. Uh, I've sort of laid a ribbon flat in there. And behind it is a card that actually Chloe sent me uh, from the Maison store when she was working there. And she sent me a handwritten card, and it was just so beautiful. This one is a handwritten card from... Uh, the Castle Street Chanel Boutique uh, and it's obviously the Coco Chanel card with the drawing on the front and that was from an essay there and I thought that was beautiful and then this card was from the Maison as well from another essay when I was shopping there and I think it was my birthday so that's a birthday card from the Maison from Louis Vuitton and I just love them and they remind me you know I think in this room which is you know my studio and luxury room and they just remind me of all those nice times so rather than sort of hanging artwork that doesn't you know I could go on Pinterest or Shutterstock and get pictures but they don't really mean anything. Next up was this little package I love little packages from you guys, like just the time and the care and the card. This is a little package from Claire. Claire is one of my subbies from the UK 
and she sent me this uh, as kind of like a mother, a Mother's Day sort of mother mothering type pack for Mussy and I. So cute. She sent me a postcard and she sent, well, I'm going to give these to Mussy, but little stickers. Like I'm trying to show you little stickers of all things of the UK. So cute. So we can put those in my agenda or I can give them to Mussy as long as he doesn't eat them. And then she sent me this. It's so cute. So M and S baby. So I'm guessing that stands for uh, Mark and Spencer. Mark, Marks and Spencer. I love that shop. And it's got this really cool little lion on the front of it. And that is such perfect sizing. And Massey loves his t-shirt. So thank you so much, Claire. So this little pack I actually haven't opened. And this is from one of my subbies, Fonda. Fonda in Berlin. Hi, doll. How are you going? Thank you so much. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's wrapped with all of these pretty stickers and in pink. So sweet. She says, greetings from Germany. And it has been a while since she wrote to me, which is true. Back in my old house, I got some mail from you, babe. It's so sweet. She's saying, congratulations on Mussy and I hope all is going well. She wanted to give me this amazing gift. Believe me, you will love it. It is the most hyped book at the moment. I think you will enjoy it. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, thank you so much, Fonda. Okay, let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, awesome. This is the second book by Megan Hess. I have the other book. Where is my other book? Her second book. Thank you so much, Fonda. Oh, my goodness. So this is the Coco Chanel, the illustrations from Coco Chanel by Megan Hess. This is the other one that actually... Uh, Westfield gave me as a gift which was so lovely so it's the dress and I love looking through this one so now I have this as well thank you so much Fonda yeah this is totally hyped but for good reason she is just the most amazing illustrator obviously you guys would know her you probably follow her on Instagram you probably have some of her um, some of her uh, products and sort of you know, mugs and frames and plates and vases. She does all these illustrations. So obviously this one is completely dedicated to Ms. Gabrielle Chanel, madam. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. But I will be really excited to read this and look through it because Paris is oh, such a love of mine. So thank you so much. Now they can stack together. Yay! I do want to show you guys this again. So this is the Chanel uh, lip pencil that I picked up when I was just getting so obsessed with the glosses. I picked this guy up as well and this is in the natural which is what I have on my lips today. I just have it completely by itself and it is just a very pretty pretty pink color as you can see there. The crayon is really smooth. I just, um, I think I told you that I wasn't really fond of it because it's not very pigmented compared to some other pencils that I do have and I was just not reaching for it. But obviously for the price, I was like, okay, sharpen it up, get your act together and try again. So it's number 34 and I am enjoying it a lot more now. I've really just stuck at it and sort of been like, okay, it's time to just really try and make this work for you especially if you want to pick up any other colors that go with the glosses that you've picked up as well. But I wanted to show you guys that I'm trying not to waste your makeup to try. A few last things. These guys. I actually in a late, a last, one of my last videos, a few comments came through from somebody's just saying, we love how you show variety. And I was just like, thanks. Thanks a lot, because that's who I am. Like, I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to say I only buy luxury and I wear luxury clothes. No, I shop at H&M, I shop at Zara, Forever 21, Kmart, Target, of course. These came from Kmart. They were $20. I wore these in a blog post, two blog posts on Instagram recently. And everyone was like, oh, they're cool. Where'd you get them? And I was like, Kmart. I want to tell you why. 
if you saw, I posted like a wish list inspiration on Instagram lately, and on that board of inspiration was the Louis Vuitton Desert Platform Boots. Now, <laughs> they're $1,700. They are so awesome and just like super like military and like commando and like, like really funky. I thought I wasn't cool enough to pull them off, but I also thought I saw these for 20 bucks, cheaper version, like a dupe, test them out, see if it works for you, see if it's comfortable and it works for your body and your frame. And then you may know that you can then invest, you know, in the more expensive luxury item. It's along the same lines. The Vuitton might actually be a bit higher, but it's got the faux zipper here. I'm sorry, the, u the usable zipper here, faux uh, laces up the front. And that way I can kind of get a feel for it. And that's what we always suggest to do with bags and luxury items that you're thinking about, you're not too sure about, but you kind of want to test it out first. That's a good way to do it. Okay, and lastly is lovely Jo Malone. If you watched my last vlog, thank you so much. You saw Mussy Mum and I go out to her conference in Mossman and I was on a mission to find Jo Malone. I had seen their boutique in Mossman and was just kind of like, perfect, I need new peony and blush suede because I love it. I love the freshness of that fragrance. And I went in there. You saw that in the vlog. And oh, she gave me some samples. The lovely, lovely lady served us. It's a beautiful, beautiful boutique. It's it's exactly like their packaging is. Like you would assume it's just so well presented and gorgeous. So there is a thank you on top. Here is the box. Here is the box with the items that I did pick up from that vlog and I showed them to you. Oh, how cute. Their packaging is just so divine. The way they, you know, it's kind of like Dior, how they do the accordion with tissue paper. It's so pretty. So here is my Peony and Blush Suede, which is the fragrance I was going in for. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. Yes, yes, oh. So pretty. So here it is up close. I opted to go for the 30 ml bottle again versus the big bottle. I just, I prefer these sizes. I love to be able to throw it in my bag. It's just a lot more handy and I use them. That is why I got the travel size in the Louis Vuitton Turbulences. And the other one I did pick up was their limited edition Star Magnolia. So it's so pretty. So it's got like a frosted white bottom and then it's got like this cute little magnolia flower on the top of the lid and it smells so much like, I don't know if you've ever smelled magnolia. Well now I just smell like peony and blush suede. Oh, I don't know if you've ever smelt a magnolia. They do have a scent. You might not think they do, but they do. They smell like lemons. We have a big bush at the front of our house a big tree I should say and when they're blooming I pick them out and I put them in our hall and they just make the whole hall smell like lemons it's so pretty so this is super fresh super lemony and there's another note in here that's really pretty the other note I can't remember what she said but I will leave the links to this below either on the Jo Malone site there's a few sites but this is a limited edition and if you do like Magnolia, you might want to go and smell that from Joe Malone. All right, so that is it. That brings me to the end of my show and tell video, guys. Thank you so much to everybody who sends me anything, cards, letters, whatever you want. <laughs> what does Charlotte from Sex and the City say? Why don't you just give her a stapler smeared in dog poo and wrapped in brown paper? If you want to send me anything, I do get asked where to send it. I always link in the bottom bar in the info box below. I always link my PO box. Uh, you guys can send me anything you want. That's completely fine. I love letters. I love handwritten letters from you guys. It means so much to me. 
get to you know know that there's someone on the other side of the camera thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys if you enjoyed it and you like my items please give me a thumbs up if you like these show and tell videos please give me a thumbs up leaving me a comment below is so great maybe I can't respond all the time but I definitely take the time to read all the comments if you do have any particular videos you would like to see shout out to one of my long time subbies hero hi doll i or i saw the request to do reviews uh to do more reviews of my items um just to be a bit more thorough with them which i think is a really great idea if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys that would be great i will see you in my next video take care peace